What's going on everybody? Today's video, we got some PSA back in, got some other cards in the mail that have been uh, either sitting in Louisville because they had a little bit too much to drink on New Year's Eve, or they just want to take a little vacation and go across the United States to other places. So, Wildcat, I'm going to be honest, there's some football in this first stack, I will knock it out first just for you so you don't have to sit through the whole video because all this is one card hockey, all that's basketball. I'm just going to be flat out with you because I don't want you waiting to the end. But I'm going to show you some stuff that was graded uh, for somebody else that was with my order. And it's football, so you probably like this even more. PSA 10, this is the Stars and Stripes um, exclusive, whatever you want to call it, out of 25 from NT. Kenneth Walker got a PSA 10. That is immense to get a 10 on NT. He also graded George Pickens, Flawless Diamond, PSA 10. Jalen Warren, Contenders Ticket Stub, PSA 10 as well. Jalen Hurts Hollow. He bought this to the show I was at. And he's going to make out on that. PSA 10. And a Jalen Hurts stained glass PSA 10. He did really, really well on these. Um, looked them over for him. I told him I, th I would send them all in regardless uh, if they come back. Even with the, I thought the Walker was going to be borderline 9 8. And wow, just in shock. All right, I'll start with the mail first. Then we'll go into the good, bad, and ugly with uh, PSA. This came in the mail. Ahmad Gardner, PSA 10 Mosaic Auto, PSA 10. A little bit of basketball on this, so there's more football. Don't worry yet. Scotty Barnes, no war. Set out of 99. Is not associated with any specific player, game, or event. So this could be actually somebody else's jersey piece. I love it, Panini. Chet Holmgren. This is the, uh, what do they call these dang things? Oh, I can't even think of it. It's the metal plates. Oh, stainless stars. There it is, right there in the card. I believe that's numbered on the back. Yeah, 21 to 25. Very nice T-Law rookie from Limited. When I took this and put it in this case, I looked at it. I'm like, man, it's like almost a gradable card. Might think about doing it. Joe Montana. The auto is the only thing graded 9 on this. This is from a 2011 Topps 5-star. Veteran Autograph Rainbow. Numbered out of 15. And that, that'll be it for the football. Uh, Dwayne Wade. This came back to me. Refractor 9. And then a Kevin Durant orange rookie card PSA 9. Pretty cool stuff there. Even though starting off the stuff wasn't mine. We got we got some stuff at the end here. Alright, just PSA order. A lot of it was picked up at shows, minus, I think, this card here. Pulled this one to grade. It came back a seven. McTavish. This is the um, Acetate Auto Gold out of 25. I figured I was going to get a seven. I was really hoping for the eight on to it. But these are just really hard grades across the board. If it was a bigger player, I'd probably crack it and try it again to see if I can get the eight. But I'm fine with it either way. I just encase it just so that nobody plays with it and screws it up more. A lot of this stuff coming up is going to be pickups. I picked this up raw from the show. Came back in eight. Zion Williamson. Purple Prism Relic. Uh, I believe this was numbered out of 99. Really hoping on a nine on that, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll go with this. This was all from the same guy I bought the Zion from. These were all raw I picked up, you guys remember. Shea, Dazzle, first one, came back a nine. But don't worry, never fear. Two tens. Tens go for around 150 on this. 
I picked these up at like $12 a card. So really good. Even a nine, I think, was around 70. So I was like, I'll take chances on to it because there's still money there to be made. Got two of these that I looked at. I picked out of his stack. Both of them tend as well, too. I think these were around 130 a pop, if I recall right. This one here I bought at I think we paid I paid 60 for it. It's actually numbered out of 75. It's hard to get top left there. Came back at 10. There's been no sales of this card, so no idea really where to put it at. Found that was from a break, break. Oh, this was the last. Oh, no, I got some more cards I was saying. Zion Williamson Hyper came back at 9. Probably break even for what I paid for it and having grading. These were interesting. I was hoping on 9s. I think I got these at... Eight dollars a card or ten dollars? I can't remember. But they're Excalibur, Jokic. Let me get the thing focus again. Rookies, PSA eight. They go for seventy five bucks a piece, being eights. So either way, there's money to be made on to them. It's just knowing. I'm telling you guys, when you go through people's boxes and stuff that don't grade, and they're guys that buy out collections, it's your best chance to really find stuff to grade into it. I believe all of this was breakage. Oh, I lied. One more. This was the same box guy. 96 Stadium Club Rookies 2 Iverson PSA 9. I think I only paid a couple dollars for this, like two or three bucks. I want to say these were around 40. I could be wrong though. So a little money to be made there as well, too. The rest of this should be all breaks. Yeah, all this is breaks. Let me just switch these around a little bit. I didn't have any particular order. First up, Chet Holmgren taking a leaf from Origins. Pretty cool card. It's nothing like super short print or anything, but everybody's wanting Chets. And for some reason, I can't get a Chet 10 auto. I can only get base and other stuff. Our favorite player before he wanted to go and become Wander, but he's still playing though. Josh Giddy, Purple Fast Break, PSA 10 Rookie. This is the debut, or debut, sorry, out of 50. And the rest of these I got in breaks. Uh, Mosaic, uh, Fast Break, Rasheed Wallace, PSA 10. Nick Van Exel, Reds are all out of 49, PSA 10. Jalen Rose did come back a nine, uh, but I had to give me a nine. I'll take it on Rose. Del Ellis PSA ten. This is another red out of forty nine. Mobley PSA ten. Another one out of forty nine. Austin Reeves. Oh wait, I'm sorry. This ain't Austin Reeves. This is uh Jabari Smith Jr. PSA ten. I want to say these are around 200-ish. So still not bad. There's Austin Reeves. PSA 10. And finally, Chet Holmgren. Still at the 9. I almost want to crack this and resend it, but I'm just leaving it the way it is. It just seems that me and Chet, they're just not destined with autos of 10s. But pretty cool stuff overall. Nothing real crazy. These did come all out of New Jersey's office. I was will say I was surprised at the amount of tens, including my buddy who got uh, five of them out of it all. Overall, pretty good. I mean, like I knew the Excaliburs going in. I was hoping for nines on it, McTavish, and that one Zion. The rest of the stuff I was all figure nine, borderline, you know, nine. Some of them were borderline tens, some strong tens. But overall... For what I put and spent into this, there's a good chunk of profit that I'll be able to use for other stuff down the road. Uh, probably will not have... No, I take it back. There's some stuff in the mail now, but I, the video might not come out till after this weekend or during this weekend, I should say. Uh, there's six cards in one lot. And then there's two singles and i think they're all baseball oh there is some football in the one 
can't remember if we're saying basketball or anything like that, but some good stuff coming in too. Um, as I said in the other videos, it won't be set up a whole lot. Now, though, next weekend, which is Martin Luther King Day, is the first show. I'm, help, I'm going up to Martinsville, Indiana to set up. That is a Sunday show. And then I'll probably set up once around spring before the Midwest Monster Bigger Show. I just rather get all my ducks in a row, um, especially when you're paying for a bigger show because um, you got hotel expenses that come out of it, your table fees, along with your mileage. Oh, I'm trying to think what else. There'll be, what do you call it, showcase rentals. They're pretty high up there, too. So that there is just one of those things where I want to make sure I get you, like I said, all my ducks in a row. I have a lot of this stuff that people are going to want or you don't see hardly ever at a lot of these other shows around here, which will draw more interest. But other than that, guys, I appreciate it as always. I am out. I will catch you guys next video.